My name is Konstantin Ribrov. This is a short demonstration of my project uh, that is the Verlin's Magical Items Shop. This is an application uh, written in the high-level assembly language for simulating a magical items shop for a fantasy anime RPG. So here, uh, in this application, it is mm, part of uh, an inventory manager for a, a fantasy anime store, such uh, as uh, the player would come into the game, the hero would order some of these elements that is sold in this magical store, and this program um, uh, tracks the inventory and updates the records. Uh, so uh, th this code uh, was written. Uh, th this code I wrote it in the high-level assembly programming language um, when I was a student. Yeah, it was uh, for an elective uh, uh, assembly language and systems programming course. Uh, but this was an extra credit project that I created uh, as a fun, fun project that I wrote uh, as a respite from the usual low-level uh, systems programming code. So uh, this is uh, just over 1,000 lines of code. And uh, uh, let me explain. Um, this is the GitHub repository. Uh, although this code uh, I, I, I wrote when uh, well back in my student days uh, these three documentation files I just created them uh, right now uh, for for the purposes of um, uh, presenting uh, my application to the user for ease of usability so uh, the first thing is the re readme dot markdown it ex it explains uh, provides an overview and the major features of this um, program. It explains a high level overview what the program is about and how it works. Uh, this is the documentation that I uh, wrote just today. And then also it contains links to uh, other parts of the documentation. For example, uh, the store logic. Um, it shows us the store logic, like the, the business logic of the store. What are the items that are sold and also how the checkout procedures are uh, calculated. All the, uh, m all the monetary calculations, the algorithms for calculating like the, the change for, for anyone who is uh, specifically interested in that. I uh, decided to have it as its own separate page. And then um, in this um, uh, program description that marked down here, uh, I, I also um, show a documentation for software developers, which lists out all the different functions that this uh, pr program has and documents all the functions and documents, documents the code of this uh, project, how it works. So. Um, the code should be rather straightforward. Um, for, first is the header comment right here, and then we are having these um, const values. So in the HLA programming languages, uh, these cons are similar to hash define in C code um, programming language. These are read only uh, uh, variables, which are actual variables instead of constants, these are variables which are stored in the in the um, uh, read-only uh, section of the data segment. And these are the variables in the program that can change. These are the static variables. So um, you can think of them as the global variables. Uh, th this uh, assembly code application doesn't uh, really use any local variables other than uh, registers directly so as you can see here 
in the code um, the HLA the high level programming languages also includes support for uh, these uh, macros it's a macro assembler so we can have pseudo high level constructs uh, in the code and also here I implemented um, uh, exception handling uh, for uh, handling any bad inputs and here as you can see um, most uh, most of the time uh, this application just uses the registers it does not use um, any stack memory other than the global on, uh, other than the uh, static global variables and uh, you uh, we can see uh, a description of of the functions on the right hand side so first we have these uh, functions that uh, print out data and format the out the input output and then we also have the the user input functions that handle um, handle any uh, user input conditions and then also um, we have most of the business logic is just implemented in the main function which is of course written in inside of this um, uh, documentation page uh, so um, let us see now a demonstration of this code uh, for ease of use um, I've already uh, compiled the the HLA file into an executable file uh, and that will be in the github so that you can just download and run the executable file w without having to install the um, HLA compiler so let's run it and we see now here um, the Verlin's uh, magical items shop uh, we are greeted with this uh, and curses type of uh, user interface um, uh, to play this game uh, or application um, of the store we just uh, select the the um, item that we want to buy so uh, su uh, suppose that we want to buy the Asgardian battle axe so um, that will be row one two three four so just type in four add it to card yes and then we see that the shopping card updates with their items and the, the total cost in um, currency units and now we see that we have seven of these left if we buy it another as guardian battle axe two of them we see now we have two items and uh, two times um, 120 is 240 and we see here that the uh, inventory has been updated that we have bought this item if we want to buy uh, an item uh, that uh, is uh, v has a very short supply, let us see. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So um, we buy the Herculean Strength Potion once and we see the uh, total cost is updated and also the price left has been updated by it twice and then we don't have any more uh, elements left in the inventory and, and then if we um, try to buy it once again uh, it says that it's sold out so no matter how many times you want to buy it it's just sold out it doesn't do anything and of course you can buy any other uh, elements and then if we hit zero um, uh, we uh, go to the checkout so uh, we bought five items and this is our total cost so we enter uh, the amount of uh, coins that we have to pay then we paid and then it uh, gives us the receipt uh, what items we bought how many of them we bought and the costs uh, of all these items and then the total cost uh, is uh, 735 and then it basically gives us our change um, now uh, let us see uh, in, uh, um, another run uh, if we enter in a, 
a string value it um, of course handles that uh, correctly uh, uh, if we just um, uh, buy some items um, and then uh, we hit uh, a non-existent roll number that gets treated as uh, a call for checkout so we hit the checkout and if we enter an amount in credits less than the um, expected value um, the program also handles that um, that condition and once again if we just um, buy a, a bunch of uh, items uh, and then exit out uh, to the checkout if we add in if you write something um, weird um, like negative 2 uh, we have error handling for that so uh, if we have uh, 113 is a total cost and we uh, give more uh, more coins than the total cost then uh, of course um, it gives us the change back so so that's it.